Okay guys, this is my um, tier list of the all well, FNAF games. Um, you know, FNAF 1, it's a pretty good game. Um, you know, really kicked off mascot horror as a whole market player. Um, played it, and I don't, I don't really have anything much to say about FNAF 1. Um, but it did give us Freddy Fazbear. We, and now there's gonna be a FNAF movie. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, I'm thinking that I should put it in, you know, a solid B. Um, FNAF 2, a really good game. Um, I think it's interesting that Scott, um, made it so that he didn't do any toxicity with the mask, and... That's why the Puppet and Withered Foxy are characters. That's really interesting. It also gave me my favorite character, Balloon Boy. Um, it's, it's a good game. Solid. Solid A. Yeah. Um, FNAF 3. Trash. Um, FNAF F. -F Mm. Are those some mini games for FNF. I think they are. Yeah. I don't remember them much. I got the Balloon Boy one, the the other ones. I don't remember the Mangle one. I don't pay attention to the mini games much. I don't know. D tier. FNAF. Yes, C tier. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. FNAF 4, uh, instant, instant S tier, such a good game, I love the breathing mechanic in this game, it's so good, so nice, I love all the designs of the characters, except for Nightmare Freddy, he's, he's fine, Nightmare Foxy's good, uh, the Halloween update's really good, I mean, it's just FNAF 4, a little harder, I think, I haven't really played it, FNAF World, amazing, love it, holds such a special place in my heart, um, it's, I, I don't know, I, I don't really have anything other to say about it other than it's fun, and, yeah, FNAF World, uh, update 2, the Halloween update, makes me wanna shoot myself, but it's still a really good update. Stupid magic rainbow. Chica's magic rainbow makes me sad. Trash game. Um, the mini games. I think for sister location. Are those? Did sister location have mini games? Um. Yeah. I don't know. Um. Yeah. I don't know. I almost put it in trash. I don't remember them. Anyways, Pizzeria Sim. I'm a immaculate game. I love the daytime, the day, the day shift, um, thing where you uh, build the pizzeria and you can play little mini games. That's fun. The night are pretty. Not that good. But still an amazing game. Uh, Ultimate Custom Night. Really good game. Love it. Also, one thing I want to say about Pizza Reason. Perfect ending to the series. Ultimate Custom Night. Really good. Shows us uh, after and his own little personal hell. Um, help Wanted. Plus the DLC. S tier. I wish I had it. On my Oculus Quest 2. Um, AR. 
I don't need to explain why it sucks. Gave us some cool designs, though, so that's nice. Fury's wet way. Fury's rage. Um. I don't know. Final game to play once or twice. Not the best. Oh, it's a good little side game to give people while they're waiting for a game. Um, yeah, it's a fun little game. But I think it's... Eh. eh Fury's Rage better. Um, so... F f security Breach. <sighs> well, let me start off with the pros. <sighs> it's a broken mess, which makes it hilarious. Makes it such a joy to watch people play. Just watching people break the game is fun, is all hell. And. That's about as far as I can go with my praise. Is, um, well, the daycare section is pretty good, and those are fine. Um, the cons burn shrimp, the blob. The ending, Fanny, everything. It's a B though. Maybe. Ugh, God. It's a. <sighs> yeah, I'll just move. Let's get location up to that. But. I don't know. Security bridge is fine. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe. Um, goodbye, my viscous creatures.